backyard life. Play. Hmm. I wonder what lives here. Let's take a closer look in the plants and see what we discover. Wow! There are so many plants and animals living together in this habitat. Let's make a habitat of our own. Let's start by adding some rocks and branches. Tap on the book if you want to hear about the things you can add to your habitat. Let's keep going. Plants. Flowers. Now we can choose a plant to add. You can always use my book to learn more information. Tap on the things in the tray to learn about them. When you are ready to add something, tap the book to close it. Leafy plants are good. Leafy plants are good food for lots of bugs. Flowers have a watery liquid inside called nectar that many animals like to eat. Flowers have a watery... Put something from the tray into the habitat. Flowers have a watery juice inside called nectar. I wonder what animals will drink it. Let's look around. Wow, this is so interesting. Let's keep going. Now we get to add animals. Lots of different animals live together here. Let's pick one and learn what happens. Worm. Leaf cutter ant. Earthworms have an important job in making soil healthy for plants. And they're also food for other animals. The ant's sharp mouth parts help them cut leaves into smaller pieces so they can carry them. Earthworms make tunnels by eating the soil. I notice each time we add to the habitat, new plants and animals can live there. Roly-poly. Tiger beetle larva. The tiger beetle larva eats all kinds of insects like aphids, ants, and ladybugs. Roly-polies help keep soil healthy by eating things that are old and rotting. Look, we're going up. I wonder what we'll discover. Different animals can be found living here. I wonder what we'll find. Oak tree hopper. Two-striped grasshopper. Grasshoppers eat lots of different plants. Tree hoppers eat sap. That's a sticky liquid found in the stem of the plants. Tree hoppers can be very colorful. What do you notice about the colors of the other bugs? We can take a closer look at the plants and animals with this magnifying glass. Move the magnifying glass over a plant or animal and click it to see it up close. roly polies are small and have seven sets of legs.
I noticed the earthworm's body is made of many parts that look like rings. The tree hopper has six legs that help it move around or jump quickly when it needs to run away. Ladybug larva. Praying mantis nymph. Ladybug larva eat lots and lots of aphids. The praying mantis nymph eats small insects like aphids and ants. Ladybug larva eat lots and lots of aphids. This is a nymph, or a baby praying mantis. I wonder how it will change as it grows. The praying mantis folds up their front legs and can very quickly reach out to grab other insects to eat. Two-striped grasshopper. Ladybug larva. Grasshoppers get around by jumping and flying. I wonder what other ways bugs can move around. The grasshopper not only jumps, it uses these wings to fly. This is the adult mantis. It looks similar to when it was a nymph, but now it has wings. The mantis has five eyes. It has two large eyes and three smaller eyes. It can see very well. Let's keep exploring. Monarch caterpillar. Swallowtail caterpillar. Monarch caterpillars only eat from one plant, called milkweed. The swallowtail caterpillar eats lots and lots of plants. Caterpillars are the baby form of butterflies. I wonder what colors and patterns this butterfly will have. You can spot a monarch caterpillar by its yellow, white, and black striped pattern. Honeybee. Yellow jacket wasp. Yellow jacket wasps eat flower nectar and plant sap. Honeybees make honey. They collect nectar from flowers, then take it back to their home to make honey. Honeybees tell each other where food is in a special way. They do something called a waggle dance with their bodies. I notice the honeybee has two sets of wings. It has bigger ones in the front and smaller ones in the back. Swallowtail caterpillar. Yellow jacket wasp. Caterpillars change into butterflies. Hmm, I wonder what color this butterfly will be. If it thinks it's in danger, the swallowtail caterpillar will stick out an orange horn-like part and let out a stinky smell. The monarch caterpillar we added changed into this orange and black butterfly. Wow, this is so interesting. Let's keep going. I wonder what we'll find. Bumblebee. Ruby-throated hummingbird. Bumblebees eat nectar and pollen from flowers. The hummingbird drinks nectar from flowers. It can fly in one place while it eats from the flower. 
The ruby-throated hummingbird is a small bird that flaps its wings very fast. It can fly around from spot to spot very quickly. Hummingbirds eat by sticking their long, skinny bill and tongue into flowers to drink its watery nectar. This hummingbird likes to drink from orange and red flowers best. Honeybees flap their wings very fast, which is why it sounds like they're buzzing. I notice the honeybee has two sets of wings. It has bigger ones in the front and smaller ones in the back. I notice the swallowtail butterfly's wings have a special shape that looks like little tails. I notice the two-striped grasshopper has two lines that go down its back. That must be how it got its name. <laughs>